Hello, hello. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Hello, this is Leah Sullivan. I'm... Hello. Nope. Hello, this is Leah Sullivan. I was born right here in Lutton, Massachusetts. Some... You don't have to know my age. Okay, let's get right to it. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Leah Sullivan. For the next week, I'll be researching a cold case murder that happened in this abandoned home right behind me. I'm here in Lutton, shit. This now abandoned home. Okay. Hello, I'm Leah Sullivan, and I'm going to solve the Mulcahy massacre. Fuck it, I'll do a voiceover later. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leah Sullivan, and I'm the smartest and fast reporter ever. Just a little cabin in the woods. This is a good thing, however. Dope shot, yo! Creepy as all hell! not be doing this while driving. Okay. Okay. All right. Testing. Testing driving confessional. Okay. Here we go. This is cool. All right. I'm currently driving through the town center. As you can see behind, can you see behind me? What am I doing? Um, whatever. Look at this place. Foundation of this part of the country. Food and religion. Hell, this is where Thanksgiving originated. Grind as in God. New England at its... Oh, shit. 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 Oh, man. Oh, oh God. What's your problem? I'm so sorry about that. I almost I, killed my dog. Oh, man. No, I just didn't see you there. I'm sorry. Drunk? No, I'm not drunk. I just didn't see you there. I was reaching for my camera. Well, why don't you learn how to fucking drive? Okay. You guys sick, huh? All right. Okay. But, you know, you were in the middle of the road, so... On the side of the road, facing traffic. Why can my dog, for Christ's sake? Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm not from around here. Yeah, so. no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> oh, shit. All right here. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry about that. I, I didn't see her. I was reaching for my camera. It's okay. Sorry. You scraped the tree? Um, yeah, Wanna so I don't know. Out? Yeah. Oh, man, my hand's gonna kill me. Is this her car? Yeah. yeah. It's not too bad here. There you go. Oh, hey, that works. Yeah. A little spit never quit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Come on, is she from around here? Oh yeah, Alice Sullivan? Oh yeah, I know Alice. Oh cool. Holy hell, that, I mean, you, them, you're Leah, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Do we know each other? No, no, no. But my older brother Steve was in Mrs. Gritzy's class with you oh, years ago. You yeah. Know? Yeah, I had the biggest crush on you. <laughs> your family moved away because your parents got divorced. It's quite a memory you've got yeah, there. It's, yeah, it's a steel trap, you know. <laughs> San Francisco, right? Seattle. Okay. Well, maybe not steel after all. Aluminum, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, you have a good day. All right. You Stay too. Warm. Take care. Thanks, man. I'm What's sorry. that? Do you want to grab some coffee with me? I just. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll meet you at Theo's right over here. Oh, right now? Yeah. I'll, unless you wanna. Um. Didn't... No, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> let me just park better. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm the only one on patrol right now. Oh. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. All right. Yeah. Well, might as well. Okay. Yeah. I'll meet you right over there. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Bye. Oh shit. Based on the research I've done, only a handful of people have studied the Mulcahy murders, and their information is unreliable. It's one of those haunting tales. Oh. It's one of those haunting tales that should be legend, but... It's one of those haunting tales that should... okay? Yeah, just sit still. I think I should finish my coffee first. Do you mind? I feel like I've got bags under my eyes. You look beautiful. I'm tired. You've been out for like five hours. Exactly. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, aren't you showing this to your class? Yeah, but you look fine. Oh, I don't want to scare anybody. You're crazy. Boo! <laughs> okay. Still not. All right, so I'm just gonna start with a couple questions. Sound good? Okay. Uh, do I look at the camera or at you? Well, that's a good question. Um, you're my first interview. I don't really know. What do you think? I don't know these things. Okay. Um, look at me. Let's make it real casual, like a 2020 interview or something. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Can I have another sip too? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, I can even take sips throughout as well of your coffee if you want. Uh, whenever you feel like it, you don't have to force it. Okay. <clears throat> so, all right, <laughs> all right, serious. Can you say your name? Oh, and I thought these were going to be easy questions. <clears throat> I'm Alice Sullivan. And when did you move to Latin, Massachusetts? And uh, let's see, I moved here in 1972. I didn't always live in this house. I moved into this house in uh, 1976, mm -hmm. when Charlie and I had your cousin Emma. 
Oh, do you think it would be better if we didn't know each other? Like if we pretend like we're not related? Mm. Actually, no, I think the more personal the better. We can include all that stuff. So that was okay then? Yeah, you're killing it. Oh, that's what I do. I kill it. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> did you know the Mulcahy's? No. I thought you said that you did. Well, I knew of them. I didn't know them personally. Okay, what did you know of them? Um, Joseph Mulcahy moved here from South Boston. He and his wife and his two kids. He was a little crazy kept to himself, didn't have a job, just worked out of that house all day long. Everybody thought that maybe he worked for the government or something. Can you say all of the names of the Mulcahy's? I thought you know this. Well, I do, but I don't want to just hear my voice saying all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but me, though? Yeah, you have a great voice. I'll get someone else to do it, too, probably. All right. Um, there was Joseph Mulcahy. He was the dad. He was in his mid-30s. Um, there was Rebecca Mulcahy, obviously. She was the mom. They were about the same age. And the two kids, uh, I don't remember. Jessica, that's it, and Edward. Jessica was the older one, and um, I think she was a year older than Emma. And Emma is my cousin, your daughter. Yes. Sorry, am I supposed to say stuff like I think that? so. Yeah, yeah, I think the more personal the better for this, actually. All right. Ooh. <laughs> um, there was uh, then Edward, Eddie. Mm -hmm. um, he was the troublemaker, or so I heard. Maybe 10 years old when they moved here, so 12 when they all died. Okay. And... Um... Uh, did you ever have any personal interactions with the Mulcahy's? No, I don't think so. A lot of help you are. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Um, you all right? Well, I'm just tired. Okay. All right, we can stop. Do you mind? Yeah, not at all, actually. Um, just if you can think of anything else about them. Well, they were such happy memories, you know, thinking about death and Emma. Okay. All right, yeah, we can definitely stop. When can I see this? Oh, the project? Yes. Um, I don't know when I finish it. <laughs> no, um, I, it's due at the end of January. Um, so after I show it to my class, I guess I could upload it online. If you want to see it? On the internet? Yeah. Oh, then I'll never be able to see it. <laughs> Did I be doing anything? No, just stand there and look pretty. That's what I do best. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't do that. No. <laughs> you look like Gary Busey. I don't I've been kind of flattered by that. All right, okay, 15, 20 seconds of stillness. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh, all right, move over. I want to be on this side. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you good to go? Yeah. How hard is this going to be? Why, are you nervous? No. <laughs> Relax, you look good. Thank you. You do too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, what are you holding? Uh, this is the cold case file of the Mulcahy murders. The only exciting thing that's happened in this town. And what happened? Should I just tell you, like, you don't already know? This is for the people out there, right? Yeah, make it official, though, because I'll definitely use you holding this. Yeah. Am I the star of your movie? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Cute cop in a small town. You're going to make the sucker marketable. Such a fatter. What's your angle? You're such a cop. Yeah. I don't have an angle. Yeah, you do. I'm not that cute. Okay. <laughs> Can I read the file? I don't, I, see, I knew you. No, I don't think I'm supposed Maybe. Okay. okay. Nice to Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Describe to me what happened. Okay. One fateful night. Don't do uh, that. Right. Um, a family of four was found in their house brutally murdered. How? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, uh, the Mulcahy family, that's Joseph and Rebecca and their two kids, Jessica and Edward. They were 
found tied up and just chopped up with a hatchet is like a small axe which is the best way to describe it because that's exactly what it is yeah we know what a hatchet is okay for the record i got you (laughs) so what happened uh nobody knows uh roofer was supposed to work on their house and he walked in saw that they were all tied up in separate rooms just chopped up who do you think did it I don't know. I mean, the story could be that... Oh, my gosh. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh, Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you say your name, please? Oh, Harold Knoll. And you're retired now, but what was your occupation? Oh, I'm a general contractor, but before that, I was just kind of a handyman, did odd jobs, you know, worked on roofs and uh, plumbing and carpentry, things like that. And now I do stuff like that. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, And how long have you lived in this town? Oh, my life. Hey, you want my resume? I can get you my resume if you'd like. Oh, no, sorry, I just don't... No? just wanted a little background information. Just to I'm only kidding. I'm busting on you. Okay. Right. So, um, in 1986, you were um, you were working on roofs then? I was really kind of out of work, so I was doing odd jobs around town. Okay. And I was doing. And how did you get the job working for the Mulcahys? Um, Joe was from South Boston, and when I was in prison, uh, I knew a guy who knew him who was also from Southie. Oh, okay. Um, and what was his name? Um, what is this for? Oh, this is just for a school project that I'm doing. Well, I'm really not too comfortable about giving people's names out who don't want their names out and stuff uh, no, like that. Listen, I'm, I'm just here helping her out. I'm not as an officer or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, is, is he a good cop? Because <laughs> I really don't like guys like this, you know? I don't yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy? Today I am. All right. All right, I'll tell you then. Okay. Okay. I know about him, though. All right, his name was O'Brien. Oh, okay. But I think he's dead now. I haven't seen him or heard from him or for a long time, so. Okay, and how did Joseph Mulcahy know O'Brien? Um, well, Mulcahy was connected at the time in Boston, with, worked for Whitey himself, and um, O'Brien said, you know, he also worked for him, you know, so I'm not too sure about those two guys, but um, I know O'Brien was connected to him, and I guess at some point. Did the police know about this? I'm telling you everything I told them, sweetheart. Um, is there anything else you can remember? All I know is that um, O'Brien knew what you know, town I was from, and he told me Mulcahy was moving in with his family, and um, if I ever needed a favor, you know, to go down there and see him and mention his name. You know, Joe was a good guy. He always was. Um, do you think the mafia killed him? Oof. I mean, a whole family like that? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. But um, I can tell you he was paranoid. You know, um, and he never left the house. So I, I, he must have pissed him off, or I guess, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. Um, so when you came to town, you just uh, you, you, you knocked on their door, the Mulcahy's door, and asked him for a job? Well, <clears throat> I was out of money, and I was trying to stay clean. So uh, what I did is I gave him a call, you know, uh, rendered my services. He told me he had a, a roof that leaked, so I went down there and, when I got there, that's when, uh, you know, all shit got real, you know? Yeah, so when you got there, you just you just walked in the front door? <clears throat> well, I knocked first, and uh, it was unlocked, so I opened it. And uh, the smell, you ever smelled dead bodies before? Mm. Yeah, you don't want to. No. And, uh, I um, walked in there, and... Um, it was all the family members all cut up in pieces. You seen the pictures? No. I've seen a couple of them. I haven't seen them, no. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh no. God, that tripod. Yes. Here, here, let me. No, it's no. okay. What? Um, I heard noises. I didn't tell the cops that. What do you mean? Like someone was in the house? Oh. 
Oh, the smell was, was too bad. No one could have been in that house. It was something. He was like, um, Or something. Or something. I don't know. Shit. Crazy day tomorrow. Well, you can go home if you want. You don't have to spend the whole day with no, no, no. me. I'm just, well, what are you up to tomorrow? More of this. Well, I got the early shift. I'll be done around three. Years, so. You want to help? Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Can I take a look at the police file? Because you promise this isn't for like national news or anything, right? Yes. Okay, fine, because I could get in big trouble. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do it for the school project. What are we doing right now? I just want an establishing shot in the sunset. Okay. Hey, you got a good eye for this. Hey, thanks. Huh? Actually kind of a cute little place. Yeah, it looks pretty good for being abandoned for 30 years. <laughs> Why is that? I, I don't know. I, I think it's because the county didn't want to pay for it, to, you know, to tear it down. Builders wanted to build all the way out here. Wait. What? Did you see that? What? No. In the window. No, I know. I know. I didn't see anything. No, right there in the window. I saw something move. Well, it could have just been the light or something. No, something moved in the window right there. Well, I don't. Come on, let's go up there. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. I'm not go going up, up there. Night, but right after you said you saw something. I, I don't know what it was, but let's go no, check it out. No, come on, no, come on, no, come on, no, come on, no come on. Can't just wait till I'm carry. What, you think you'll need your gun? You're the one who said you saw something. What if it's like a rabbit raccoon or something? No, I got a call about one of those guys once. It was scary little guys. Okay, come on, let's just go. It's dangerous, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, you, you didn't grow up here, but have you heard the stories about this place? I mean, I knew of it. That's yeah, the reason I, I decided to do this project on it. I got a buddy who tells a story about that kid that was dared to come up here and he was never seen again. What happened to him? He was never seen again. <laughs> I mean, did you ever look into it like as a cop? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there's only one story of a missing kid around here and it was like a foster kid from Worcester. <sighs> Turns out his biological mom went missing at the same time, so. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Probably ended up in Florida. I feel like everyone from here ends up in Florida. I have family in Florida. Yeah, of course you do. Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear that? What? I think I heard something. What did you, what did you hear? Oh, oh my gosh! I you I the scared the oh, shit out I of the me! <laughs> oh, geez, oh my gosh! Oh. Oh, I think I saw something. Yeah, right. No, no, no there's something. Oh, come on, boy, who cried wolf. No, 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 give no, me no, that, serious. give me, give me, give me, give me. We're going in. No, 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 no stop it. I mean, I, look, uh, look this is against the law. We can't do this. It's unlocked. It's open. No, 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 don't go in there, don't go in there. I think I just saw something move. Shh. All right, it's all right. Hang on. Nothing. See? It's really dark. Oh, gosh, it's so dark, I can't see anything here. Let me take these gloves off. I have to adjust this thing. Hang on, wait. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's good. Police officer, I can't be breaking the law like this. <laughs> police officers, they have power. They, have, they feel like they have power over, but I don't. I don't I'm a good guy. Shh. I don't hold the law. What? Did you hear something? Yeah. What? You talking a lot. Oh. This is, this is insane. oh my gosh. And you're filming this, okay? We're indicting ourselves. You're making your own evidence against us. I don't know what was it. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, oh my gosh. What was that? Stop. Okay. Oh, it's a Stay here, okay? Okay. Stay here. Okay. Well.
No, no, no. Let me get out of here. I you. I'm gonna take it. What? Did you see this? Oh my god. Open Are you it. Are kidding me? No way. Open it, no, Patrick. No, open no. it. No. Oh, fuck no. Oh, come on, Jeez. Patrick. Come on. Wait, no, that's. Let's get out of here, okay? No, I'm done with this, no, okay? Come on. I haven't no, no, even no. seen the rest hey, of the hey, rooms hey, Leah. yet. Hey, I come on! I haven't even seen now. the bedrooms. Leah, come on, okay? Come on. I'm leaving. He's scared. Okay. All right. Can you see it? Are you ready? Oh, I there, like it is, there it is. Cowboy. There it is. There it is. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. I'll rewind it for the. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right, look at me. All right. Okay, hang on. Can you see the, can you see the computer? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I need to, this is for the, Okay, all right. Ready? Get this on phone. Okay. There, it's, oh, did we just missed it. Okay, ready? Okay. Here you go. Oh my God. There, there, there is something there. I swear there is something there. You can't really see it on here, but there's something there. Okay, I totally agree with you that the curtain moved. Yes, okay. 100%, I saw that for sure. But something was there, something was there moving it. Look, you I, can kind of see. Okay, well, here's okay. what I think happened. That house was super drafty. We walked in, the other curtain no, I had moved that. I know before that. too. The door was open, it was super drafty, so I think the curtain for sure moved, but I think what you think that you saw was actually when the curtain moved, you saw your own reflection. No, I, okay, okay, I said, I don't know. Okay, there was something in the house, I swear, I saw something, it was like a shadow, it had like okay. long hair, it was just like, it right. was there, it was, there was something there, it was, Look, it was I just think staring Harold out at Noel, us. I the roofer put us I'm not, I'm, I know I sound like mm. crazy, I know I don't I do. wanna watch the footage until I've edited it, because I also just hate my voice. <clears throat> Beautiful voice. Oh, well, thank you. All right. Let's... All right. What? what I, nothing. It's just. I just feel like maybe a haunted house story is a really cool project. I mean, that is a midterm project right there. Can you imagine? You you you're like, whoa, 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 whoa! This place is haunted. The ghosts and Mokays have been here. I mean, you have the video footage to prove it. And that is insane. And you can interview me. We could talk about like how the, the murder and why this place. I don't know. This is just that would be. This is a really creepy room. <laughs> Do you have to stay here? Are you yeah, kidding me? Don't say that. Look this at these dolls. Sleeping. I think they're staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, I think it was just a trick of the light. It couldn't have been a trick of the light. Yeah, was, I think it was. was something okay. Like... Let's move on. Let's okay. do this thing. <clears throat> okay. Let's put the beer right. down. Yes, yes. Last yes. sips. Okay. Last sips. Okay. Oh, you gonna take off? your hat off? Hat off? No. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> no, no, it's a really good choice. It is? Yeah. Are you being serious? You should definitely it leave it off. It is, it is, your hair good. looks really good. Should I put it back on? I'm just kidding. Your all hair right, does look right. good. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, I'm Leah Sullivan, and today is December 12th, 2016. <laughs> the, what? It's just nothing. It's just what? You're really good at it. I wasn't commenting on it or anything. I just thought you. You left <laughs> me up when just, I was in the middle I just of wasn't doing expecting it. it. You just like transitioned. All of a sudden, you became like, I don't know. I was a, Hello, this is Olivia Sullivan. I, I can't breathe. I don't know. It just sounded like it from sitting here. You sounded like. It. Let me do my thing. All right. All okay. Right. Uh -huh. You put me in my head about it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This month marks the 30th anniversary, which is crazy, by the way. What? What? I did not know that it happened in December. What did? Oh, the. Yeah. Do you think it's like because it's like the anniversary? Like, does the 30th year mark anything in some sort of satanic. Like that, that I, there was something in the mm, window. I tell swear. me more. No, no, no. Like there's like maybe thirty years. There's like a, a purgatory or some sort of like weird occult thing that like mm. all of a sudden some sort of spirit rises and stares maybe. at us at windows. 
I don't know. No, no, it's all right. It's a good question. I'm just saying. All right, let's do this. It's a cool project. (laughs) Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you say your name, please? I feel like I should be doing this. Should I be casual or should I be like... All right. Dude, just do it. It's like super whatever. (laughs) I'm Patrick Rook. Okay. That's good. And um, what do you do for a living? I'm a police officer in the town of Lutton, Massachusetts. Does anything exciting ever happen in Lutton, Massachusetts? Uh, Well, I've been a police officer. Yes, the Mulcahy murders happened (laughs) happened in Lutton, Massachusetts 30 years ago (laughs) this month. All right, Uh, so I was thinking you could just read through the file now. Okay. This is just for a school project, I right? swear. Okay. All right, I'm not going to get in trouble for no, this. No, no. All right. Okay. All right, well, to sum up, a family of four was found in their home. They were tied up in separate rooms of the house and just chopped up. Uh, the murder weapon was believed to have been a hatchet uh, or some sort of heavy metal object. Um, the bruising around the wounds indicated that it required a certain amount of force. Yeah. I don't think we need the demonstration. All right, we'll start with, we'll go through the family. Oh, I don't know. Oh. This, yeah. All right, the father, that's Joseph oh. Mulcahy. He was found in the living room. She was gagged with a belt. Uh, both his legs were chopped off. Um, his cause of death was bleeding out from the wounds in his legs. All right, the mother, that's Rebecca Mulcahy. Oh. Yeah, uh, are you sure you want to see this? Yeah. I, I actually, do you mind if I get some pictures of these? All right, yeah. Like, I mean, some video of them. I don't know if that's, okay. Um, Rebecca Mulcahy. Okay, I'll be patient. Yeah, she was found in her bedroom. She had, uh, her arm was tied to her bedpost, and then her other arm was chopped off in the same fashion as her husband's legs. Her cause of death was also bleeding out. Jessica Mulcahy, she was the last one to have been killed. According to the estimated times of deaths, she, uh, her cause of death was she had her head chopped off. She was tied up to the back patio by one of her wrists. Gosh, I'm so glad I wasn't around to have seen this. I thought that you read this before. I, well, I stopped reading after I saw Joseph Mulcahy's picture. All right, and last is little Edward Mulcahy, and apparently least. Uh, he, nothing of Edward was found. He was just, just one arm was tied to his bedpost. Oh, oh man, yeah, that picture is, that's it. That's all it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, can I get some of those pictures now? Okay. So Edward's body was never found? Nope. Neither was Jessica's head, Rebecca's arm, or Joseph's legs. Wow. Mm-hmm. There's a reference here to the Villisca murders of 1912. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a famous murder that happened in Iowa. Um, this whole family and these two little girls were chopped up by an ex when they were sleeping. It's really similar to the Lizzie Borden murders. Uh, Lizzie Borden is the, uh, you know, who's Lizzie Borden? Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. Oh, that is the creepiest thing I've ever heard. How do you know so much about that? I find psychopaths fascinating. Okay. Well, there's no other murders like this that ever happened in America at that time, so... That ruled out a serial killer. Hmm. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. They got their fill, and then they, you know, moved on. 
Or maybe it was a ghost demon with a hatchet. You're a police officer. I'm you, saying. really. All right, okay. Offense taken. And this is the house. In happier times. Press record. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you not ready? I don't know. I'm that... I can do this. Okay. All right. All right. Um, just, just make sure I look good, okay? No, you look great. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, look just... hot like Madonna, okay? I'm just saying. Okay, like yeah. a virgin. Okay. <laughs> just like 15 seconds oh, of stillness. 15? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not that long. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm, yeah, ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Let's do it. All right, oh, and so I know you're already doing this, but just, yeah, like face the, the camera and just try and deliver your stuff to the camera whenever okay. you can think of it. You got it. Yeah. Okay, can you say your name? Uh, Margaret Stromberg. Okay. I'm Swedish. Oh, really? Yeah, my dad was Swedish. I know I don't look it, but uh, mom was Irish, so map of <laughs> Ireland, what can I say? Very cool. Yeah. Um, what was your relation to Joseph Mulcahy? Uh, we were cousins. My mom and his mom were sisters. And how well did you know each other? Well, you know, we knew each other okay. Uh, he was kind of a quiet guy, so, uh, you know, I, I moved in with them when I was a teenager. I got booted out of the house. It's a long story, but it's a good one. I'll tell you later, okay. Okay, because it's a good story. <laughs> but um, So I, uh, my Uncle Robbie took me in, and I lived with them. Uh, you know, I ran the liquor store for them after uh, Joe left town, so uh, I was pretty good at it, I have to say. I made a really good profit there. The first year, I, pff, I killed that place. Oh, it was wow. awesome. Yeah. Um, did Joseph have ties with the mafia? The mafia? Joe? <laughs> yeah, like Whitey Bulger and stuff? Whitey! No, no. No, he didn't. Oh, my God. What did you hear that story? Um, the guy who found the bodies... Uh, he said that he knew Joe through um, like somebody he went to prison with, huh. um, a guy named O'Brien. Oh, what, Ronnie O'Brien? Oh, I don't have the first uh, name. Oh, it's, it's got to be the... Ronnie O'Brien. That makes perfect sense. Oh, my God. Ronnie was a good friend of Joe's growing up, okay. right? And uh, he was just, he, he, was, he was thought of himself as a badass, right? He thought he was this cool, tough hood, but... Basically, he just did time in jail for selling weed to the little kids in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he oh. had like that Napoleon complex. You know what that is? Like, mm -hmm. like shot guys have them, <laughs> you know? Oh, my God, Joe's mother hated him. She called him the less smooth Eddie Haskell. Okay. <laughs> you, you know who Eddie Haskell is, right? Uh, I don't you know, know, leave it to Beaver, Wally, smart ass friend. Okay. Good morning, Mrs. Cle no. Okay. Uh, uh, hey, you're making me feel old now. It, no, it's okay. Yeah. Hey, everything makes me feel old these days. So um, it's fine. So then why did why did Joseph leave town? Oh. Be because he was crazy. I mean, I loved him like a brother, but he was he was crazy. He was he was scared of everything from day one. And like you know how little kids sometimes they, they'll they'll make these thoughts, you know, out of uh Blankets and pillows, mm -hmm. sheets, you know, like a, over a, a table, you know, to make like a little secret for. He used to do that all the time, and he would just spend all day in there. He was such, such a strange kid. Um, what was he so scared of? Well, what wasn't he scared of? He was scared of everything. Uh, end of the world, nuclear war. He, he, he was scared of the neighbor next door because she had a weird laugh. But I mean, she did have a really witchy, weird laugh, so I kind of get it, but... Um, <laughs> You know, he was always uh, drawing these these weird kind of shadowy, tall, creepy figures. Do oh, you um, do you have any of those drawings that he used to draw? No, I, I don't think so. I, well, well, you know what? I I might I might uh, can I go look? Oh I'll my just, gosh! It, yeah, it please. It won't disturb you. Not at all. Oh, no, okay, no, no, no. Okay, please good. do. Yeah. All right, just give me a second. Okay. Um, might take longer than a second. Yeah, take your time. Um, so you said that Joe Joe left town because he was scared of things. Oh God, yeah, he was scared of everything from day one. Hey, hey, um, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, not at the moment. Oh, I have a son who's adorable. I think you'd be a cute couple. Oh, I don't know. It's you not really a priority. Baby. Oh my God, <laughs> I cannot believe it. 
What? 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 You found, I found it? it. I oh found my gosh! It. Here, let me help you. Let me help oh you. Oh my god! Oh wow! I know. Look at that. It's crazy. I, I, I mean, it's like hottest back there, and I found <laughs> it. I couldn't believe it. Oh god! So this, I, I, I took this okay. when my uncle Robbie died. I took this out of his house, uh -huh. and uh, I wanted to get one of those journals for uh, Joe because. They were crazy, and like I thought I would give it to him for his 50th birthday, you know, show oh, okay. him how crazy he actually uh -huh. was, but, you know, then everything happened, and, uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Look at that. Aww. My first wedding. Oh, he's so pretty. He was a good such one. A cute picture. Oh, I should never let that one go. He was really good. It's really cute. Okay, oh, here we go. Ah. Uh, All right. Oh, my gosh. I know. I know. This looks like a Bible. It, it kind of does look like a Bible. It's funny, you know, Joe always thought that he could predict the future. Oh, really? Yeah, he did. And he always, like, had, write, write all these dark thoughts in there. So, you know, and all these pictures. Very creepy. When there's no light, there's a monster to fight. I run away, but with me, the monster will stay. Yeah, right? See? See what I'm saying? Huh. I mean, to be honest with you, we did grow up in a strange time. You know, Cold War, all that stuff. Russia looming over us. Uh -huh. you know, Joe always thought that there was bombs going to be going off in the streets in South Boston. Huh. Okay, that's why he moved out of town, I think. Oh my gosh! What? Hang on, is that what you were talking about? That's exactly what I was talking about. See, huh. and like he had like ten of these journals, and and this is the only one left, but they were all filled with this picture. He like he drew that all. Like, it's probably in there more than once. Do you mind if I hang on to this? No. I'll bring it back for no, you. No, but no, I... go ahead. Well, what am I going to do with it? Thank you so much. Oh, sure, sure, sure. This is great. Um, I actually think that I have everything that I need. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No, you were so good. Oh. That was well, so good. Well, thank you. Um, Would you like more coffee? No, I'm all set. I actually have to go because I'm, I'm going to. How about some cake? I made a nice bunt cake. No, thank you, It's though. good. It's I kind have to of my special a friend thing. in Lutton, so okay. let me get well, this guy off of here. Hey, look. Um, yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. Oh, no, you were great. Just to. You know, if you could do me a favor and just uh, yeah. let me know. Hello. <laughs> let me know uh, what happens if you find anything yeah. out. Okay, because, you know, all these years I, I haven't known, and it, it's just so terrible what happened to that family. So and I, I really like to know. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. I'll be in touch. That's great. Um, and I actually might have to come over and ask you some more questions, oh. if you don't mind. Okay, then you're getting that cake. <laughs> All right, just getting that cake. You okay. saw it. Okay. All right, sounds I can clean up a little bit back here if you need no, to. No, that's actually fine. So, yeah, if you can just sit still for like 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, just sit still. Yeah, you can just look straight here. Straight into the camera? Yeah. What's this for? Oh, um, I haven't, uh, I haven't really decided yet, but I like the idea of starting it like this. I might have your name in the corner or something like that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Do I have to hold my breath? No, no, no. <laughs> Just be natural about it. Okay. It's okay with that. Okay. Mmm. Mm. That's actually good. I think the levels are good on that. Okay, what can I do you for? All right, let's just dive right into this. Let's hear some of these stories that you're famous for. I wouldn't say that I'm famous. <laughs> I mean, I just told these stories to some kids at camp. Okay. However, if I am famous, just call me George Clooney. Okay. All right, Mr. Clooney, <laughs> let's get into it. Okay. Hmm. Where do I begin? I mean, my uncle used to tell my sister and I these stories as a kid. Uh, I'll start with the craziest one first. Okay. Okay. So, you all know the details of the Mulcahy massacre, correct? Happened in 1986. Family's body parts went missing, never to be found. An arm, a leg, a torso, a head. Well, I have a friend, Frederick who lives close to the Mulcahy house. And he had this dog, Carl. Carl got out one night, and Frederick wandered off into the woods near the Mulcahy house to try and find him. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this, this blinding light came from the tree line. Well, Frederick couldn't see it was there for about five, six seconds and disappeared as quick as it came. So Frederick, trying to regain his sight, 
hears this weird groan off in the distance, this... Uh, so Frederick thinks that Carl is hurt, so Frederick runs towards the noise, and it's getting closer, this... Uh, now Frederick is right on this noise, and he looks up, and he sees this creature with two heads, one of a teenage girl, the other of a little boy. Two legs of a grown man, a torso and an arm of a little boy, and the other arm of a full-grown female, the missing body parts of the Mulcahy family. Well, Frederick is scared out of his mind. He collapses to his knees. He, he thinks it's over. All of a sudden, the creature vanishes. Frederick crawls back to his house, doesn't leave for three days. He's laying in bed when all of a sudden he hears this scraping at the door. Frederick goes to the door, and there he sees his dog, Carl, with bite marks all over him, flesh missing everywhere. The bite marks of a little boy and a teenage girl. To this day, if you still go in the woods near the Mulcahy house, you'll find squirrels with those same bite marks. So, aliens killed the Mulcahy's and then sewed them back together? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was one of the crazier ones. It does the trick. <laughs> I bet. Um, Patrick said that you have one about a missing kid. Oh. Oh, yeah. That one's my favorite. Yeah? I have a couple others, though, too. I have uh, one about this Sasquatch creature. Sometimes I make it into a, a, a zombie lumberjack. That's a good one. I have another one, too, about uh, this, this, this basement dungeon where all these little kids are kept. Okay. All right. Let's just do the missing kid. <laughs> okay. Where do I begin? Uh, okay. <clears throat> We had these three kids that lived in the neighborhood, Jimmy, Robbie, and Ian. And one night, they decided to go camping off in the woods near the Mulcahy house. Around the fire, Robbie recounted the dark and gruesome tale of the Mulcahy massacre. Only this time, he made up his own ending. A little twist. He said that the house was haunted by this dark spirit, and that is what murdered the Mulcahy family. Ian dared Jimmy, the youngest, to spend an hour inside that house, and Jimmy, being the smallest and the youngest, decided to take on that challenge, a way of proving himself, if you will. The boys wandered off into the dark woods towards the Mulcahy house. When they reached it, Jimmy walked up to the door. He took one last look back at his friends and went inside. Robbie and Ian waited around 20 minutes, 25 minutes. They start to get bored, so they yell for Jimmy. Jimmy, time's up. You can come out now. No answer. They call out again and again. No answer. So the boys wander into the Mulcahy house, armed only with a small flashlight, shaking. They scour around the first floor, looking for Jimmy, when all of a sudden they hear a a whimper. A... So they run towards this whimper and they see in the middle of the room a lump. And they run up to this lump and they notice that it's their friend Jimmy lying in a pool of his own blood, one arm hacked completely off. They bend down to help Jimmy up when all of a sudden they hear a... Oh my God. You okay? Yeah, what happened next? I don't know. I mean, that's where we always ended the story. One of the counselors at the middle of the night would go around making that noise, really freak the kids out. Uh, what's the end of the story, though? Um, I don't really remember. I think my uncle used to say that the kids ran off and Jimmy was never heard from again. Where did your uncle hear that story? I don't know. I mean, for all I know, he could have been making them up. Um, is he still around? No, no. He passed away almost ten years ago. Uh, sorry to hear that. That's a really scary story. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll definitely use that. It's good. Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, it's Patrick. Do you mind? No, please. Sorry, thanks. 
Hey, what's up? You scared me. Uh, yeah, stuck on the phone. Uh, What's up? Something to show you. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Um, these are all missing persons files over the last 30 years. Uh, there's five people in total. Okay. All right. I want you to go through each one of these, make it detailed, but try and just state the facts. Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's start with the fact that these may not be related in any way. I mean, they're kind of all over the place, and some of these people might just be in Florida. I understand. All right, um, the first one is the foster kid and his biological mom. This is the one I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd read this file a while ago, but I didn't think anything of it. Here's what really happened, okay? Uh, foster kid was last seen leaving his home in Worcester. His mom's car was found a week later on Brigham Road, a few houses down from the Mulcahy house. Now, the theory is that they stayed in the Mulcahy house for a couple nights and then were picked up and driven to the airport to fly to wherever, but nobody did any real research on it. And the investigation sort of just fell through because of jurisdiction issues between, between social services, the state police, Worcester police, and then us over here. Uh, this happened back in 91. Did anyone ever search the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they did find signs that someone had been living there or something. All right. I'm just not ruling anything out here. Okay, this next one is from 95. Okay, this is a four years later. I can do math too. This is just a, a couple of kids from Worcester State. They, they heard about the murders and decided to go into the house. I guess they were partying one night, got wasted, you know, presumably. And they were never seen again. What? That's it? Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's the same setup. The police found their car, they organized a local search team, and couldn't find anything. The dogs couldn't even find anything. They just kept circling back to the house. What the More coffee? I know, right? Oh, nothing. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, this one is the last one, and it's the craziest, um, and it's technically not even a missing persons report. Uh, oh. It's from 98. Uh, there was a girl, okay? She was the younger sister of one of the college kids that went missing. She came into town from upstate New York and decided to go looking for her older brother. Um, she was last seen on December 4th. On December 8th, the Worcester police put out a preliminary search on her rental car. I guess she was supposed to have returned it a couple days earlier. The hotel staff thought she had checked out, but just left all her stuff. It was crazy. Okay, she was found on December 10th. She was dead in the driver's seat of a rental car. She had driven off the road about a mile and a half from the Mulcahy house, so it's... But the theory is that she was looking for help. Okay, she had signs of being restrained, wounds on her wrists indicated they were caused by ropes. Uh, her cause of death was a large wound on her neck, believed to have been caused by something similar to an axe. Please miss all this. Okay, yeah, all right. I know what you're thinking. This is terrible policing, and it was. All right. I spoke to my boss about this very briefly this morning. I didn't want to talk about it. I, I had heard of this, but I didn't think it affected everything so much. There was a police chief here who served for 20 years, and he was forced into early retirement for negligence and misusing government funds. He did the bare minimum on all of this. In fact, he hid these two files from state police investigators because he knew we fucked them up. We only found them last year when we upgraded the station. They were hidden in a ceiling panel. I mean, it's a wonder we didn't get sued. Can you imagine the families of these people? You know what this means? What? We're not just reporting on a cold case anymore. This could be national news no. because we can actually solve it. I don't want this national news. No, 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 no. There, there's something could be in that house. Yeah, Did you hear anything? Know? 
no, we're not, I'm going to figure it out what it is. When I'm on duty with a team of investigators, no, I don't want you getting we're the ones who No, no, I don't want you getting anywhere near that. Stuff. I don't think you should be filming anymore. Wait, so, no. You have no idea how important this is, Patrick. No, I, I do. have no idea how big this story is. Yes. Look, we could close a case that has been open for 30 years this month. That's insane. No, Via. No, what? No, I. Th I think you keep this as a school project. This is you, okay. You finish interviewing the people that knew the family and you move on. Okay. You could be the first one to talk to them if, if the police do find something, but there is a proper way of going about this. Give a and shit this about the proper way, Patrick. No you... journalist who is worth a damn ever give a shit about doing things the proper way. And neither do I. This is it, Patrick. Look, there might not be anything in the house at all. Exactly. So then what's the harm in checking it out? Okay, what if there is something potentially dangerous in that house? What, like a killer ghost? No. When's the last time someone disappeared? 20 years ago? 18. Yeah, exactly. Nobody's gonna be there. But then why do we have to go at all? You can't keep me from that house. Yes, I can, okay? It's private property. What are you gonna do? You watch all day, every day, go in the house, wait Come for on, a woman? Come yeah. on, What? A killer could be in that house. We could save people from You the just house. said that was ridiculous. Look, I don't know. Maybe it's a copycat or something. I have no idea. But we have grounds to go and check it out. Maybe You're the one. You, you are the one who swore yeah. that you saw something in that window. You're the one who swore I, it. I don't know what I saw. Look at this. It could have just been. It was just a crime. Look familiar? It looks like some deranged kid drew that. Yeah, Joseph Mulcahy drew that when he was a kid. Yes, so what does that have anything to do with what we're talking about? I don't know. <laughs> you think that looks like the thing I saw in the window? It's a stick figure. Yeah. Look, I'm going to that house. You can either come with me or you can arrest me. But I think you're just as curious about Stop. this as I am. Right. right, look, we don't have to go crazy. Just peek in and see if we see any signs of someone living there, okay? Look, it's probably impossible, but we have to check. Can you imagine what it would be like not to know what happened to your kids? Not to know what happened to your brother, your sister? You'd go without me even if I said no. Damn right. All right. Fine. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. I'll be carrying this time, so the rabbit raccoon or whatever is going to go down. But hey, 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 Bobo, we do this. We do this by my rules, okay? Hey, what are your rules? You got to listen to me, all right? Okay, I mean, that's just one rule, but I think I can handle it. All right, second rule. Don't be a smart ass. Do you have a flashlight? Yeah. Um, uh, Alright, it's in my truck. Let's go get my truck. My gun's in there. Okay. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it going to be snowing? Yeah, can you hold this for a sec? Flatter yourself. Somebody could be in that house, okay? Okay. All right. Let's go quietly. Sir. Yes, sir.
halfway here. Wait till you give, I give you the all clear, okay? Oh, come on. No, I'm serious, okay? My rules. Okay. the police. If anybody's in there, make yourself known. All right, I'm coming in. Stand away from the door. Just wait here, okay? Okay, okay. All clear. The door shut behind you. That was it you? No. Oh, Jesus, the wind again. Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. Yeah, me too. I almost <sighs> shot you. What? Nothing. Look, I was taking a look around. I didn't see anything, but look at this. Now that I know all the gory details, this must be where Joe Mulcahy bled out. Oh my God. See any signs that someone's been living here? Not yet, no. I don't like this place. Are you still filming? Yeah, I want to film in case we find anything. <sighs> Anybody here? Hello? Stop it. Oh. Oh. Come on. It's a lot of blood. Oof. Oh. Freaky. This whole place is. Oof. It's a creepy mirror. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. What is it? What is it? No. This must be Rebecca's old dresses. Oh. Oh, here. Hold those. I wonder why they left all these. So well preserved. Yeah, I know this whole place is. Yeah. One of these would fit me. Well, don't try it. I don't want that. I think she was about my size. No, no, no. Can you stop touching them like that? Look at this. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. If this wasn't so oh, moth I don't this like that. This would be a I don't like fine. This. I don't like this at all. Look at that. The no, 80s no, 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 no. are so in right now. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay, can you put it away? <laughs> Not a souvenir? No. No. Okay. No, okay. No, no, I'm no, just no. kidding. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Oh, wait. Hey, look at this. So these hangers are empty. Maybe Rebecca Mulcahy just didn't have that many dresses. Uh, I don't know. It looks like some clothes are missing. Uh, Maybe some of the missing people are rocking the retro style down in Florida. Can we just get out of here, please? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yes. Come on. Is that crayon? Oof. Oh, it looks like someone punched it. Yeah, I think we should go. It's getting dark out. Okay. I just want to check out the basement first real quick. We should come back another day when it's light out. It's not going to matter down there. So we should just go into the, the creepy dark basement in the murder house at night? That sounds fun. Oh, yeah, I agree. But I don't want to come back to this house again ever, right? So let's just do what we came here to do and then leave. Maybe we'll actually find something. I don't think that's a good idea. Do you have your flashlight? Shit, I left it in the car. Oh, can you go get it? I don't like this, okay? 
please, can you just let me, you can go and get it, and can you just let me borrow it? You can leave. That's a stupider idea. You're stupider. You're ridiculous. I'm not, I can't just leave you here. All right, please, can you go get it? This will be the last thing that we do, I promise. Please. This place isn't so bad. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. How long have you been making? Thumbs up. What? What is it? Oh, nothing. Something I, happened? No, I just thought I heard something. Don't do that. Uh, what? Don't, don't scare me for the sake of scaring me. No, I wasn't. I think it was just your car. Hey, look at this. All of these cans of food have been eaten. You think it was one of the missing people? Oh, maybe. But look at this. What? The sink was dripping. Okay. Well, I mean, you'd assume that it would have been le leaking for a long time, right? Like, right. I don't know, at least 18 years. Uh -huh. Well, there's no mineral buildup or any signs of constant water flow. Maybe Jessica Fletcher over here. Who's that? Is that a murder she wrote? Oh, right. Uh, maybe it's leaking because we had a particularly wet year. What do you mean? Well, uh, it runs on a well system out here, so, you know, a lot of water's in there. It needs a little more. There's a little more pressure. Oh, I guess I'm not such a Jessica Fletcher. <laughs> oh, I mean, I didn't mis I mean, dismantle your theory. I just don't want to think about someone I actually haven't been here. I think someone was here. Not anymore. Let's go check the basement. Joseph Mulcahy could see the future. What? Well, I mean, um, I know he was just a little kid, but those journals were fucking dark. Do you think he knew how he was gonna die? I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, he also said the world was gonna end in nuclear war, so. Well, that could still happen. <laughs> here, okay? Let's get out of here. Wait, wait, I gotta see the flashlight. Mm. Sorry. What's that? Uh, I don't know, what is it? Is it a trap? Fucking pet. This is huge. 
Somebody must be here. Somebody must be living here. Right, okay, that's it. I'm done. No, okay, really, I'm leaving. No, no, no. No, this no, is no, the whole no. reason that we came here. This isn't why I came here, okay? I didn't want to. No. I'm, I'm leaving, okay? No, no, Patrick, listen. Listen. You have your gun, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be fine. All right, all right. Okay. All right. All right, let's just get out of this creepy ass basement. Okay. Was that? that was it. What the fuck was that? Was that was the fucking sound. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna go up there. Okay? Okay. Stay close behind me. Okay. Anybody out there? Make yourself known. Come out with your hands up. This is the police. Okay. I think it's full of sound the kids are Nobody's here. Damn. Damn. Look at the dress. Damn. This is crazy. What is that? It's crazy. Look at it. I saw a white. I had uh -huh. yeah. Let's just get out of here, okay? No. First, I just want to film the kids' room really quick. Are you done? I haven't even shot it yet. Oh, Hold on. Come on. We'll come back when we have a fucking FBI with us. It's okay. It's okay. Just let me film this. Now, Leah, come on. Hold on. This is important. This is evidence that wasn't in the police file. I don't care. You heard what I heard. Look around okay. you, all right? Nobody's here. I think we should go okay, now. I can't hold the camera steady with you yelling at me. Just give me 30 seconds. I don't like this. I know. Hurry. Do you think he was tied up when he was writing this? I don't know. Here. Hold the camera. No. Just do it. <sighs> this is the sound. That was it. So the dresser just moved on its own. Okay. Give me the kingdom. Police would have been referencing the file if they were there when he died. I mean, must have been done by someone since, since the murder, some kind of was it a prank or something. That's the drawing. <sighs> they scream loud when they are cut. What's that? It's a list. Papa, Mama, Jesse. Jordan, Michelle, spelled with an S and an H, Harry, Harvey, no E, Greg, Sarah, they're the names of the missing people. Here, shine the flashlight over there. Patrick, Leah. No, no, this is a sick oh fucking game. Hello? <laughs> Somebody there? Show yourself! Make yourself known! This is the police! Come out with your hands up! Hello! This isn't a joke! Come out! Who's over there? Hello! Show yourself! This is the police! Back up, Leah. Back up. Back up. Here, hold this. I'm going in. Hello. Show yourself. 
Patrick! Pa what I the fuck? What the fuck happened? I thought I heard something. Just get the fuck out of here, okay? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 